Evening all, and welcome back to Factory Town. So, um, I've left this running for a fair bit to uh, try and get our research done, and we're getting there. But um, we have a problem. We've, we've run out of books, and uh, we probably need books to keep this thing going. Uh, I'm going to temporarily tell paper to go to here, just to keep it ticking over. Uh, the reason we run out of books is because we run out of leather. And the reason we run out of leather is because this grain mill is not strong enough to supply both the pasture and the the wool pasture and the leather pasture due to our demand for cloth being so high at the moment um we are completely out of cloth we're suffering with food problems as well um demand is definitely higher than supply everyone's happy at the moment but it's not gonna last very long i don't think so i need to figure out a way to increase animal feed production um, and I'm thinking of putting the second grain mill running off one of these farms. Have one farm go to one grain mill, and one farm go to another grain mill, and uh, have the grain mills drop into the Pastures. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'll do that. I'm going to remove this here. Um, I've taken off this connection bit here, uh, adding more trees to this here because this is all backed up on paper. Paper's good for us at the moment, so that can just go down and feed the base or the um, lumber mill. That's the word. So yeah. That was actually not working at the moment. Ah, that's because we have loads of wood in the base, don't we? So, yeah, that's fine. Right. So, uh, if I want to put in two grain mills, how do I want to do this? I can't really leave that one there. It's going to be completely in the way if I do. Um, I think I'm going to put them both here. And then... Have them feed. Because even at full speed, they're not... Very quick, so they can both feed into the same chute, and then it will go along. I think, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's come uh, on. So, right, so I want a grain mill. Um, Yeah, I think I will leave a bit of a gap in between them. Just in case. Building is blocked. Ah, building is blocked because the terrain is not level. Uh, right. Oh, that one there, that one there. Uh, animal feed and animal feed, if you please. Um, I'm going to stop these production for the minute. And, uh, will adjust some things. Remove these. So we can remove that and uh, in that in. And they are like so uh, I am going to do the little um, ramp thing I think that does help at least a little bit and I want to remove that block and I need to put in a custom one that way one that way so that way they never feed into each other okay you go there go there and that should do that should do. So start. Okay. We are getting them slowing down as they come out, which is a little annoying.
increase the effects on workers and see. Yeah, we are getting a bit of a backup here. Hmm. Sure why that's slowing down there. That's just how it's going to feed it, unfortunately, which does mean that uh, our supply is actually not going to go up at all. That's going to be exactly the same as it pretty much was before because it's just not getting onto the belts fast enough. Okay, so how can I arrange this to be better than this? Um, Definitely need it coming to the pasture. The two pastures are definitely being fed to both of them. <clears throat> Suppose I could. Instead of doing that, I could do. I think it's going to be exactly the same, isn't it? Got to run the risk of thing. Yeah, it's going to be exactly the same. I I need to I need them to feed each other separately. I think that's the problem. Yeah. Right. Uh. Okay. Okay, so, uh, need scaffold down there. Two and two. Oh, I keep pushing the wrong button. There's a very clear they stop. They stop as they get there. Which I think means that this is just not going to be able to put them out as fast. I'm going to have to use conveyors here as well. Yeah, it looks as if I'm going to have to use conveyors here as well. Which is annoying, but, well... It's fine, it's fine. Let's remove that, copy that. <clears throat> nope, still goes. Nope, you have you are that 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 is actually faster. That is actually faster. Okay. If I did that. No, squeeze them onto one line is just not working, is it? No, 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 right. Okay, so instead I need to. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Maybe do something like this. I think. Um, and that gonna 
not working for some strange reason. Why is that not pushing onto that? Is it because it needs the uh... Do you know what? I'm going to go with conveyors for this. We've got the conveyors. We've got them. Let's use them. Although, because of... Very weird thing. I can't remove that shoot underneath there. Gotta remove everything all the way down. To remove the shoot. I think it's just because I put in the pillar there. The um. Uh, the wood. Yeah, the wooden pillars. So right. Okay. Let's. Do this instead. Um. Uh, that one right. And uh, then we have that and that, but that won't work because the shoots don't accept that. Um. This one up to be shoot as well. Uh, sorry, to be conveyors as well. And, um, oh, do like that. Okay. So you are producing, you are, you are ex exporting as much as you're producing, which is awesome. Uh, can increase the farms, although increasing the workers on the farms doesn't really make it speed go up at all. Um, and it wouldn't really help here because I've noticed the farms actually capped out on green they're producing actually faster than the uh the conveyor belts can take them by the looks of it which is interesting i wonder if it's just because it's uphill not sure right so you're now full and you aren't at all, but you are. We are getting some leather there, which is which is good. This this is working. Uh, I'm also starting to think I don't even need that. Yeah, like that. That way, it's possible one belt will back up uh, whilst it's feeding the other one, and it does block the other one briefly. But they're not that cramped on the conveyor belts to worry about um, things going wrong there. But um. Yeah, I think that's that's going to work. That's going to keep some of our production going for a little bit, I think. Okay, you can carry on for a minute. Uh, I would like to get this to about a 10 and then stop him. Um, so that's even because it was on 91 um, and because this new research requires 10 books ago uh, it was never hitting the 100 which uh, just I'd like to have it to be a nice round figure so that everything will flow properly and you see here I've got uh, two of these larger minor drawers taking mana back and forwards um, because we were running lower mana, that, that was that was the biggest problem. Okay, there we go. You got ten. You're done. Right. So, um, we are still requiring leather. Leather is still our. Pull back. So, um, one farm isn't quite enough. 
keep a grain mill going, which I should have known from up here. It's not quite enough to keep a grain mill running. Um, so I could do put another farm in, I suppose, and maybe have it run up the centre to feed. Now, there's interesting, with the logic gates, is it possible to have it feed one way, feed the other way, feed one way, feed the other way, have, have a round robin system going on? Is that possible? I don't know. I do not know. Uh, I still don't quite understand these, these logic ones, to be honest with you. Um... Pusher block, uh, timer block, inventory sensors. What I'd need is Uh, I think this might be doable. This might be doable, but I'm not sure. Let's uh, let's let's have a, a play rather than before I put anything in major to get going. Let's uh, have a little bit of a play, shall we? Um, we've got loads and loads of stone. So what I'm gonna do? I put in um, can't afford. Why on earth can't I afford one of those? What does that require? Requires iron plates. Why do I have not have any iron plates? We're out of iron. Wow, we. Um, you can go back to iron production. Wow. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. And oh, there, yeah, the stone I stopped as well, didn't I? Drop that off. Um, and let's re enable. You that should keep things pretty well balanced, I think. Um this this uh loop fills up a lot. Um it's very easy to get it capped out. Um in fact some of my storage base here are getting pretty full. Uh, not my mana though. Mana's doing okay. Uh, how close are we? 193. I think I th I think if you you just drop off and stop. That's probably going to be enough. That's probably going to be enough. Okay, right. So this this is going. It's not backing up. It's going. It's running at full pace. That is getting priority feed. That's getting secondary feed. Arms are actually having a net loss on their storage, which is good. That's what I want. I want them to. They are putting out faster than they can produce, which is excellent. Right, so let, let's let's have a play here, shall we? I'll put one of those down. And uh, this is going to be a little bit weird. I don't even know if stone can travel along. I don't think stone brick can travel along. We'll do that. We'll do that. Right. So, what I want to do here is have something like that. That that will represent, like in between the two here, I'll have a conveyor coming down, pointing one way, um, and then probably pointing the other one further down, I suppose, something like that. Um, Either way, that that that's that's our storage one there. Um, we need to have one there, okay? Um, and let's just put this stuff back. So what I want to do is I want to have a pusher there. Um, and I'm thinking I might even put one there as well, okay? And then I want a Toggle, we have completed our mana research. Awesome. 
Awesome, awesome. You can drop off there. You can. Oh, you will just. You, you can start grabbing iron because. Yep. And you can uh, actually take any mana that's in there and put it back in there. Do we have any other? We do have, do have some more research. Uh, mana transmission and elemental, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, like that. And then I got my toggle, got my two pushes. I then want a new logic block. I want a inventory sensor. Okay, and I want to tell you to read that block there, and then you to activate that one there. Okay, I want to control click that and it off. Is that? Turn off that, there we go, right. And then I want you to activate that and that. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. So then when I do that, that's not working how I had in intended. However, let just turn that on and off, which means that it is going like one this way, one that way. Yeah. Which is which is fine apart from that noise. Yeah. Uh that would work. That would work as a, a left right left right sort of. But that noise would do my head in. So, um, nope, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to stop that. I'm, I'll have to try and figure out another way of doing it. Um, I mean, I suppose I could just prioritize one over the other. Uh, you could put in a, um, a belt like that pointing right and then put in one of those left. And whatever comes on there, if there's space left, it will go. If not, it will go right. That would kind of work, I suppose. That's probably the way I'm going to go with it. Okay. Um, right. So you're doing that. You go there. You go there. Our stone is low again, so I'll get one of you working on that. I don't want to overfill the stone or the iron or anything because then it backs up this whole loop system and uh, things are wrong. Like the coal. The coal, unfortunately, backs up all the time. And uh, coal on this can just go around and eventually just completely blocked up. So, hmm. Uh, right. So. So, I need another farm. Another farm for this here. Yeah. So let's build a farm down here. I'll put it like there. I want a one gap between. That little pond, copy you there, that and down this rain back here. 
remove resources um do be tools remove resources are those there okay and uh then we want farm tiles Then we want to get our scaffold, scaffold block two, then what I've got there, wooden arches, yeah, that's what I've gone with. Like so. Okay. And then we want to that um i suppose i'll prioritize the right one then grab a pusher put it left that would work when when these aren't on top that can feed in i i guess i don't know let's find out There is a little stop there. That must be because of the ramp. If it was flat coming out, probably wouldn't suffer so much from that. And um, yeah, this one is going to back up quite considerably. Whilst it waits for slots to go. And then it's, it looks like it's going to back up the other two farms actually. And it's not going to add to it, is it? Nope. Nope, it's not adding to it. It's just backing things up. Right. Okay, so that did not work. So, oh, remove, remove. So, do that and then that so feed that one that one's on the the more direct conveyor so feed that one first and then afterwards feed the outer one which is on the the less direct rail and looks as if it's actually this is starting to back up ever so slightly so when this one finally fills up with grain uh this this farm will automatically switch over to feeding that one instead Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And I also want to do the same here with these two because we're not producing enough food. Food is a problem. Um, not producing enough cloth. Well, um, we're not producing enough cloth. We don't have enough wool. It is running at full whack. Well, it's not really. It can be upgraded again. Let's upgrade the passage to level four. Okay, I think that's better. I think that's it's not backing up any wool inside itself. Oh, hello, what's going on here? Wait, uh, you're running at exactly the same pace as you get the wool in. That's that's not stopping once that cloth thing. So, you, you are running at full whack. Um, I may even have to at some point get a second pasture and run uh, wool off of it to keep our off demand up. Because um, although I could switch over to clothing, I think is the other one. Outfits. Outfits require cloth, leather, and iron plate. One of each. We have cloth, we don't really have leather at the moment, that's backing up a bit. Not backing up a bit. Um we do have iron plates. Might look into doing that. Um 
Yeah. Oh, and here we go. Here we go. Right. Stop. Stop. You can carry on. You're all doing that. You're doing that. You see here now, because my iron's backed up, now iron's going around on the the outer pace, and eventually, like here, we'll end up with loads of coal and iron just here, and it'll all just come to a complete stop, and everything will go terribly wrong. Um, and unfortunately, I can't figure out a way to get that grabber to stop when there's inventory on here. Although, isn't that just what I did down there? I think it is. I think that's exactly what I did down there. So, hold on. Let's get a toggle. And let's get an inventory sensor. So, you are going to look uh, there for any inventory. Okay. And then you are going to activate that. And then you are going to activate that. Okay. So if I turn you off now. Ha. Ah. Right. Yes. Right. So get rid of that. You activate that. Ah, that's what goes wrong. It only goes once. So if you have the to toggle, it will work. But the toggle is really annoying because of the noise of it. And you can't even move the camera away to get it going there. Can I... Music, ambient, sound effects, and interface sounds. Hmm. Yeah, because that just turns that on, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's just firing to turn that on every single time. Uh, okay, so we'll remove that and we'll stop that again. Okay, so that's not quite what I was after. Interested that uh, we are completely full on um, air crystals, I think, whatever crystals go in there. Yay. Okay. So, right. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm going to put another farm in down here. Not yet, though. I want to use up that mana. Um, and see. But we have mana to play with now. We have all these new wonderful category mana blocks. But we will start that in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope to see you again next time. And until then, as always, have fun.